people as far as the eye can see, not a patch of green all the way to the Washington Monument. January 20th, 2009, an historic morning in America. Barack Obama is about to take the oath of office under tight security. Those in charge of this inaugural say they're well aware of what's involved in protecting the first African-American to take the oath. The threat of an attack is very real. We had real live intel on a terrorist event at the inaugural itself on the South Lawn. We had to make preparations because it was, it was real live stuff. Rahm Emanuel, Obama's incoming chief of staff, is just hours away from taking over from his predecessor, Joshua Bolton. He and I, while the reception was going on, walked down the long corridor over to the West Wing and into the Situation Room. The outgoing and incoming Homeland Security advisors were jointly monitoring and managing the response to the situation. I, Barack Hussein Obama. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. It involved some Somalis you know, threatening to explode a bomb somewhere in the in the vicinity of the mall, where where there were hundreds of thousands of people collected. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. Both presidents' teams keep a close watch on the threat all morning. In the end, the inauguration passes without incident. And as the transfer of presidential power takes place above, another transfer goes on below, from one chief of staff to another. I thought it was, a, it was a good demonstration of the proper and very dignified and patriotic handover that occurs in this country every few years, regardless of the bitterness of the partisanship that, that might occur. Now the real work begins. Another president and his chief of staff start their historic journey. 